Hi there, I'm Lee, welcome to iMind Blocks. In this video, I'm gonna be talking a little bit about the upcoming DAG file size increases, which actually happens on a regular basis, and what it means for you if you're using a RX 400 or RX 500 series of GPU. This is particularly gonna affect you. So um, pay attention and I'll explain um, what the upcoming changes are. So if you've been following my videos for a while, you'll remember last year I was mining with a Radeon 7950 uh, and when I sort of first started off I was getting around about 20 mega hashes when mining Ethereum so that was really good performance at the time. As time has progressed over this last year it's become harder and harder to mine because of the DAG file size increase and now that same GPU only gets around 11 mega hashes so quite a significant drop. Now the RX 400 and 500 series have been fine up until this point but over the next few epochs which is every 30,000 blocks it's going to become harder and harder for your RX series cards uh, to mine. Uh, what that's going to mean is that your hash rate is going to be uh, reduced. So just to explain a little bit about the DAG file uh, size increases. So we're currently on epoch 130 and each epoch happens at every 30,000 blocks which is roughly around about four or five days. So for every um, epoch uh, increase so i'm talking um, when we go from 130 to 140 150 um, so the big changes um, that's going to happen roughly around about every 45 days and on those um, events so it's going to be progressive but on those days in particular i can show you via benchmarking uh, what it's going to mean for you in terms of how the hash rate is going to affect you so what i'm going to do now is i'm actually going to test it on my um, my rx uh, it's got a 470 and also a 570 in there i'm going to benchmark it and see how it's affected over the net upcoming you know epoch changes um, i've also got an nvidia card as well which is actually on the home computer it's a gtx 970 um, and i'm going to test the benchmarking on that as well and see how that's affected um, there's a few other pe bits and pieces that I want to talk about as well. Um, so what we'll do is we'll start with the benchmarking and I'll sort of talk you through it and we'll see how this is uh, going to affect us. Okay, so I've just remotely logged into Worker One, which is the machine that has a RX uh, 470 4 gigabyte and also a RX 5, uh, yeah, 570 uh, 4 gigabytes as well. So we're currently on uh, Epoch 130. And like I say, these are gonna sort of increase. They increase it roughly every four to five days, but we're gonna be looking at a 140, 150, uh, maybe 160, we'll see how that affects things. So we're looking at time scales. We're gonna be predicting kind of in the future, um, roughly every 45 days. So what's it gonna look like in 45 days? What's it gonna look like in 90 days? Um, so at the moment, you can see on the actual miner, we're getting a 48 point Eight, uh, sorry, 48.7, 40s, yeah, 48.7 uh, mega hashes. So GPU zero is an unmodified RX 570, and that's at 21.7. Uh, the GPU one is a, a 26.9, 27 roughly. So that's the sort of um, base hash rate that we're actually starting from. So what I'm going to actually do now is put the actual miner in benchmark mode, and we'll test it at epoch 140. So predicting what it will run like um, uh, 45 days in the future. So to do that, we need to edit one of your original batch files. And this is the first time I do it, but let me just double check the command. So it should be, let me just confirm, uh, hyphen benchmark and then the epoch number so we're going to do 140 and I'll just save it as it is. So let's run the actual miner again for Epoch 140 and we'll see what results we get with it. So it says benchmark mode, setting DAG for Epoch 140. And I'll just give it a few minutes to run and stabilize. Okay, so we've been running around about a minute now, and the hash rate has reduced uh, slightly by about two and a half mega hashes, 2.7 mega hashes. So we're now getting a total of 46 uh, mega hashes. Um, pretty much the um, hash rate reduction on both of the cards is probably about equal um, ratio wise. 
So it is not like one card is dropping away significantly um, more than the other. They're both roughly around the same. So let's increase the DAG size um, at Epoch 150. So we'll run the benchmark at Epoch 150. Um, so this is kind of a prediction for about 90 days uh, into the future. Okay, so you can see again that the total hash rate is now reduced to around uh, 43 mega hashes. So we've lost um, three mega hashes overall. Uh, but you can see more so that the actual hash rate has dropped more on the RX 470 than it has on the 570. So most of the loss is yeah on the on the 470, not the 570. So the uh, slightly older GPUs seem to be looking like they're a bit more effective than the um, the newer ones. Um, let's try at Epoch uh, 160 now. So we're running at Epoch 160 which will be about 135 days in the future. Okay, so now you can see that we're getting less than 40 mega hashes um, total. So since the beginning, we've lost over almost 10 mega hashes. Um, both the cards this time seem to be more or less equally effective. So the RX 570 is now down to 18 and the 470 modified is um, 20.9. Okay, so let's close that and what I'll do now is I'll just do a kind of a bigger update. Okay, so I'm just going to try Epoch 180 now, which is approximately uh, 270 days uh, in the future. Um, at this kind of time frame, I think it's most likely that we will be uh, doing like a proof of stake, proof of work hybrid at that point. Um, so I'm not too sure whether we'll actually get to this point um, necessarily. But we'll just test it. So Epoch 180, um, roughly about 270 days uh, in the future. So let's see how that affects things. Okay, so you can see the performance has really been reduced on both cards. Uh, it's interesting to see the actual uh, gap narrowing between the RX 470, which is running at 17.7 .7 modified, and the 570, which is currently running at just under 15 mega hashes, giving us a total of 32 2 mega hashes but you can see that gap is closing together um, across those um, two GPUs um, I would guess that's due to the actual clock uh, memory performance um, and the slight difference between the two GPUs so okay what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to test it on my GTX 970 and see whether we get the same kind of a degradation in performance um, over time Okay, so on this machine, it's the one actually next to me, and it's a GTX 970, uh, four gigabyte. So it's actually mining in CUDA mode. And I'll just show you the typical performance. Normally it's around about 18 uh, mega hashes. So I'll let that just pick up um, slightly. Okay, so that's running. So at the stock um, levels, um, how I normally run it, we're getting 17.5 mega hashes. So that's the current sort of um, benchmark. Um, at today's um, uh, settings or um, <clears throat> so moving on uh, let's change it to benchmark mode and we'll do the same uh, tests so we're currently at epoch 130 and we're just going to change it to one forty. So predicting what we, what results we'll be getting about 45 days into the future. Okay, wow, that's actually a massive reduction. So literally just, you know, in the next month and a half, um, the GCX 970 is basically gonna be out, out of the, uh, the mining situation. So it's down to six mega hashes. So that is um, a really, really bad performance and way more um, significant than on the, um, the RX series of uh, GPUs. So that's, that's really interesting to see. Um, I'm not really gonna test it any more than that because at that level, it's basically not gonna be um, worth mining at all. So um, yeah, really, if you've got one of the GTX 900 uh, sort of series of cards, um, yeah, from, from next month and a half, um, mining is really not gonna be an option for you. Um, on that note, what I'm actually going to do is uh, just test it on my El Cheapo rig, which has the R7370s, and see whether it's as, as dramatic as this. I think it might be because of those uh, are an older generation of GPUs. 
Um, so I'm going to test that as well and see how that uh, affects things. Okay, so now we're on the El Cheapo rig, which has the four R7 370s. Um, they are the four gigabyte versions of the GPUs, so they're still good for mining. And I'll just show you what we typically get if I just use Ethereum only mode on the miner. While that's running, I'll just edit the batch file for the next test. So benchmark, test it at 140 and we'll see how that is affected um, in comparison to where we're running now. See whether it's quite as dramatic as the GTX 970 or whether this older AMD card um, has a bit more life in it. I'll just give it a few minutes to run through. Okay, so we've had a few updates. It's running normally now and we are getting, call it 44 uh, mega hashes per second. So roughly around about um, 11 mega hashes for each of the GPUs there, some are slightly faster or a little bit under. Um, but 44 mega hashes per second at Epoch 130. So let's try it at 140 now. We've already edited the uh, batch file, so we're going to test it at Epoch 140. Uh, like I say, looking out into the future, about 45 days into the future, a month and a half, and um, just see what results we get at that point. Okay, so that's quite a strange result. So GPU zero has now um, kind of stopped. It's not reporting any hash rate. Um, the other cards seem to be not affected. They're kind of hashing at the same rate. So that's quite unusual. I'm just going to restart the miner and um, see if it um, fixes it. I'm not too sure if it's just a driver glitch or crash. Yeah, it looks like there might have been a driver crash there. So let's try that again. It could be the increased um, file size, DAG file size actually caused the crash. So there you know, could be upcoming stability issues in the future as well. Okay, so they're all running now. The driver issue has sorted itself out and we're getting 43, 43, uh, 43 and a half roughly. Um, so yeah, the AMD cards, even this older R7 370 doesn't appear to be um, affected very much on the initial uh, epoch change. So I'll try it again with a, a higher epoch. Um, I won't do them all again, let's just go 160, which is going to be about um, 135 days uh, into the future. So effectively about four months um, out from here. Let's see how that affects things. Um, I'll also do it at um, 180 as well for the next test, which is about 270 days into the future, I think was what I had it at. It's roughly uh, 100, sorry, it's roughly uh, 45 days for every um, 10 increase, so 130, 140, 150, etc. Um, okay, so that's made a quite a bit of a reduction there. So uh, Epoch 160, uh, we've reduced the hash rate from 44 down to 31. Um, and also that GPU, actually that GPU zero has um, stopped again. So that's, that's why, so the other GPUs don't seem to be affected. Um, that's a bit of a weird issue. I've not seen that before uh, with this, so not too sure what's going on there. I'll try again with the at Epoch 180, um, just do a final test to share with you guys. Okay, it looks like I'll be leaving it there for the testing of the uh, El Cheapo rig. It looks like that has actually uh, crashed um, when trying to close down the actual miner on that last part. So there's a few takeaways uh, from this uh, series of testing. So in the future, it's definitely gonna be coming more and more harder to uh, mine. Your hash rate is definitely gonna be reducing over time. So depending on what hardware you have, um, you're gonna see different results um, as we progress forward. So the RX um, 500 series seems to be least effective. Uh, the, the 400 series is doing okay as well. Um, also the slightly older um, AMD um, hardware that I've got as well, and the R7 370s, that is affected, but only to a slight degree. 
can just see the El Shupo uh, coming back online there. That should restart up as, as normal. Um, but the real sort of drastic changes was with my GTX 970, that was a serious performance reduction. So I have been reading online and apparently the Pascal card, so that's the 10 series of NVIDIA GPUs, so your 1070s, 1080s, etc. Um, they're apparently not affected um, almost at all by these upcoming DAG file increases. So there's a real possibility that NVIDIA over the next sort of few months um, could take a, an advantage away from AMD um, in the actual mining performance. Um, I think we'll just have to see how this sort of plays out. I think in the immediate future, over the next sort of two to three months, um, AMD is still going to have a, a huge advantage um, over the NVIDIA cards. But as the, we get further and further, if we don't have this change over to proof of stake, um, the NVIDIA cards might get a lead. Um, as, we, as we go into the future. So I just wanted to share these sort of results and these tests with you. Um, I've tested all the hardware that I have here. Unfortunately, I don't have a Pascal card to, to test with you and share with you. So maybe you, one of you guys could do it and uh, let me know how you get on in the actual comments area below. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Hopefully you found this information useful. Um, I'll see you guys on the next video.